you are about to witness a good day turned terribly bad. It's DK and I'm back again. It's time for us to pull up when and get these dividends. If you are not subscribed, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. We're about to pull up to Home Depot right now so we can uh, run it up. Now, this is an app that we're going to use called Rody 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 with a Dabber Ranch. We are actually about to pick up two orders. Order number one, we hot it in the sun. We are picking up a toilet. We're going to drive four miles for $22.47. Don't forget to thank the Lord for your blessings. We're about to pull up, get this money, we ain't stressing. And then we got order number two. Guess what you about to do? We are about to pick up a door, drive four miles for $45.48. We love being great and getting this cake. Let's go. And we are here to pick up our first two orders this morning. And guess what? After this, we pulled up, we fade away like Jordan. <coughs> fade away like Jordan, baby. So this is one, that's a toilet, and this is one of dough. We hit a scope. He love running up dough, let's get it. Got that toilet, we go slide. Slide that joint right there. And we're going back in to get this dough after this. Oh, we gotta go, baby. We got to go. Grab this joint. And we are here to draw up this door, get into this money we would never ignore. We love getting to this money like it ain't funny. Unhook this joint. Now, the problem with this is the customer said, ladies in front of the garage door and uh, take the photo like that. But guess what, they got these cars. So I'm just gonna sit it right here. I don't want no smoke. I don't want no smoke, Skeet. So right there. I didn't think it was a good idea, but hey, that's what they said. <coughs> And we're here to get this bread. You already know what time it is. Comment below and let me know. Step back in with the photo. You already know though. Smack! We gone. We are here to show off this toilet. The customer, I think they opened in the garage. Yep. Let's get right here. Oh, excuse me. I'm here with your toilet from Home Depot. Oh. Would you uh, like me to sit it in the side? Yes, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. I just have to take a picture and I'm good to go. Oh, yeah. All right, so you have a great one. After those two orders, we sat around a little bit and we finally was gonna get an order. Now, just so you guys know, I did have an order that I picked up this morning on Friday. We're about to get to this money on here. Hey? Well, we thought we was about to get to this money, but we didn't. Now, the order was pick up three items from John Stone Drive, 3.3 miles for 50.06. We were trying to pull up and get in the mix, but guess what? Uh, we shot a brick. Now, we were supposed to pick up this order between 9.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. So we're sitting around waiting, it's probably like eight something, and we finally get another order. We, 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 we're really about to pull up and get an order. Now, this one was pick up two items that weighs 130 pounds, drive 45.1 miles for 111.68. We were trying to pull up and get that cake. Now, I hurry up and accepted this order, because I'm like, I'm about to go get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. I'm about to go get busy, right? Come to find out later on, it was an airport pickup. So, I'm like, okay, cool. We're supposed to pick up this airport pickup right now. We're only like eight miles away from the airport. So, this is the plan, Stan. We are first going to pick up the airport order. After we pick up the airport order, we're going to push it all the way to the front of the van. Then we're going to go pick up this Johnstone order. We're going to put that in, in the back. And then we are going to drop off the Johnstone order. And then after that, we're going to drop off the airport order. Now, the reason why we're going to deliver the airport order last week is because it's going to take us right towards home. Like a little bit past home, we're just going to be right there. So, what ended up happening is we pull up to the airport, right? We sit in every way. Now, I reach out to the freight. I reached out to Frank and let them know, look, I need the paperwork because I know I need the paperwork in order to get the items from the airport. Reached out to them. I ain't hearing them for a while. Then I called the lady. She said, okay, I'm going to look into it. I didn't hear them back from her. They finally sent the paperwork over, right? In the meantime, in between time, I'm like, we got to hurry up because right now it was probably like 845. So if we can get this order and we get in the van and everything, and we can leave here by nine o'clock, we can make it to the pickup by 9.30. But remember, we have between 9.30 to 10. So if push come to shove and the worst thing is worse, if we leave by 9.30, we can still get there by 10. Pick up the order, drop it off, and then drop off the other one. 
guess what happened? They canceled the order on me right when I was sitting there. I reached out to them like, why y'all canceled the order? They said they canceled the order because I was not moving towards it, even though I still had like a whole hour left. They canceled it like at 8.50, like 8.55-ish. I had a whole hour before I needed to get to the pickups and they canceled the order on me. So now I'm sitting there like, dang. And then guess what else? They not giving me no money for this. They giving me this, 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 zero. They are giving me zero dollars to go out there and pop my collar. Zero dollars for this. I'm like, dang. So now we got the airport order. We sit at the airport. They finally send the paperwork over. Everything good. I go inside and this happens. Just like that, we are here at the pickup. Hopefully we had no hiccups. Guess what? We only got this one piece of paper and it's not a way bill. So we're going to see. We are going to see. We're trying to get this cheese, G. It's my first time coming here too. So I don't know what to do. Hello. A few moments later. How you doing? Are you good? Let me see your paperwork. I said I took it off for you. That was my fault. Uh, what door are you at? I'm in a van, so I'll probably be up coming up to this door right here. You get your ID. A few moments later. Okay, so I don't know if they gave you the wrong delivery order because this was picked up in July. What? Yeah. <laughs> well, they probably gave you the wrong airway so. bill. As you guys just heard, unfortunately, she's saying that they picked up this order in July. And she said, I may have the wrong order number. So I don't know what's going on. So we reached out to the guy that sent us the paperwork. He didn't answer. Then we reached out to the lady. She didn't answer. Then we reached out to the freight in the freight app. And guess what? The dude who sent the paperwork finally answered and said he's going to look into it. And look, uh, it is now 9.53. And we had literally been here for over an hour already. And this right here, right now, is why I do not like going to the airport. It's too much room for error. So, and, and I let me say this. I'm not going to blame the airport. It's usually the paperwork that is the problem. When we get the paperwork wrong, everything else just goes down here from there. So I'll keep you guys updated for those who hate it. Let's get it. We are back. We finally got that paperwork. And guess what? Now it has been two hours. Shoot. Vertical. Come back, finally. Got the right paper? I hope so. We're going to see. <laughs> we going to see right now. A few moments later. Thank you. So I'll just wait right here? Or? Yeah, just wait here. The way I will call your name. Don't go outside because then they'll reject you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. Finally. Perfect. Right there. <clears throat> Y'all see it strapped down. Now it's time to pull up because it's about to go down. Let's go. And finally, it is drop off time. We are here on the grind. My guy about to get me right. <coughs> about to get me right, ski. We are here getting busy. Trying to get these digits, G. You did. Step back in with the photo. You already know. Thank you very much. You have a great one. And just like that, Finally, it is the end of the video, and I hope that you put me on your big screen video and that you was in the car, turn me up on your stereo. Now, we did receive an extra $75.75 for wedding. Just so you guys know, if you don't know, when you are using the free, you about to get to this money though, hey? When you are using the freight app, um, it depends on what vehicle you're using. If you are using a car, you will be paid $1 per minute after the first 15 minutes. If you are using a mid-sized vehicle or pickup truck, you will get $1 per minute after the first 15 minutes. If you use our cargo van, you will get $1 a minute after the first 30 minutes. If you are using a box truck, you will get $1 a minute after the first 60 minutes. But, let me say this, a, a huge but, you will only receive 75% of the detention pay. Detention pay is when you guys sit there and wait. So let's just say this. For example, 
let's just say they owe you a hundred dollars. You you waited there for a long time, and they owe you a hundred dollars. Instead of you getting a hundred dollars, you will only receive seventy five dollars because you will receive seventy five percent of the detention pay. So I hope y'all got the cap and baby. I hope y'all understand. Guess what? Say you went up there uh, and ran up them bands. Make sure you lock in tomorrow. It's going back down because we ain't playing around because all 2024, all we're doing is pulling up the uh, skull. But guess what? We got to go. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know in the DDK. And I'm on my way.